Hello and welcome to this video. So now we can set up the logic for looping and detecting uh, new candles. The first thing we need to do in bot.py is import time. That's the library we use for the sleeping. And then I want to make a new variable here called sleep and set that to 10.0. I can't remember whether we had the granularity in the previous video or not set to M1 or it was M5 or something like that. But anyway, please set it to M1. If it isn't, I apologize for my uh, fading memory. And we can drop down now to the uh, bottom of the trading bot class and start setting up the actual logic. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new function called run. And this function is going to contain an infinite loop inside. Uh, so we'll say while true and a colon. And inside here, we're going to do the various processing. So the first thing we'll do is print uh, processing dot dot dot. Or let's make it three dots so we know that something's actually going on. And we're going to write uh, two more functions. So the first function then is called update timings and we loop through the pairs in our trading pairs and we need to get ourselves a reference to the current most complete candle time. So we'll say that current is equal to self.api.lastcompletecandle and then pair and granularity. And that means that we have the current most recently completed candle time. Every time we do this check, we're going to say that the timings pair ready is set to false. And you'll see how this works in a minute. So we can now ask the question that if the current, so the, the last completed uh, candle time is greater than, and I'll just copy this here, the self.timings.pair, not ready, but last candle. So if we have a newer completed candle, then we can actually set ready now equal to true. We're ready to do some trading with this. And then we can also set this value here. So the last candle now equal to current. So we can update the most recent candle. The other thing I'd like to do then is do self.log message and then the formatted string and pair new candle and current. So what should happen every time we call this function, we should get a logged message saying whenever we have an updated completed candle, which we can then start to look at for trading. So let's call this function then. So we'll call after the processing, we'll call the update timings, which means also we need a self in front of that. And I'm just going to put that here as well. So we know that it's going on. Now, there are various ways of building the logic inside this class. For instance, this update timings could all have gone inside maybe the timing class, but we'll leave it here for now. And we're going to write a new function called process pairs. Now, this function is called on the bot uh, when the bot should go ahead and actually start making decisions to trade particular pairs. But first of all, it has to ask itself the question, is a pair ready to trade? So I'm just going to copy some code down here and I'm going to say, OK, for each pair, then if the pair dot ready is equal to true, then we know that that pair is ready to trade. So what we can do then is we can log a message saying we're ready to trade that particular pair. Obviously, we don't have the trading logic at the moment, so we're not going to do that, but at least we can leave things running and check that uh, all of this is working as expected. So down back in the while loop, let's just make a copy of these two here and just have the process pairs and the process pairs like so. And then once we've done that, the last thing we need to do is then sleep because we haven't got anything else to do. And the way we sleep, then we'll just say time.sleep and take in our sleep parameter. And that should be all we need to do to have the bot sleeping and every 10 seconds checking for a new one minute completed candle. And if it finds one, then logging the particular one that it has to the log and carrying on every 10 seconds, repeating the process. Of course, right down inside the main, we need to have the b.run, otherwise nothing will happen. But that should be all we need. And of course, with a little bit of editing skill, uh, I've realized here that I've not actually indented this uh, block correctly here. So I'm going to go into the console and just run the bot. And we can see update timings, process pairs and sleep. And that what's going to happen is it should be filling the log with information. Hang on, let me just check the log. So we've got the log here and we've got the last candle times, etc. And now if I leave this running for a while, just through a few of these, what I should get is a log filled up with identification of the new candle. So I'm going to edit it out, but I'm going to leave this running uh, just for a couple of minutes and then we can see what we have inside the log. OK, then, so after a couple of minutes of running, I just want to have a quick look at what the bot managed here. So we got the bot timings. It started off by having the last complete candle as uh, 1033 UTC. And now you can see that it got the 1034 candle for the euro and the pound against the US dollar two seconds um, after 
uh, the candle was uh, actually completed. Interestingly, it took then 12 and 13 seconds to get the pound and Japanese yen because they weren't quite ready then, so it slept for the 10 seconds and then had them here. So it had all four 1034 candles here. And I talked about this a couple of videos ago in the delay and stuff. It's not really ideal, this method for one minute candles or something like that. Of course, for one hour or something, it's uh, it's fine. And then we can see we now get the identification of the 1035 candle. So it said it's ready to trade or ready to analyze these pairs here. So good, so we've set up a nice bit of logic here now inside the bot where it's able to sleep and keep updating and identify when we might want to start analyzing a particular candle. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, welcome as always. Otherwise, uh, see you in the next one.